So today I'm standing on the world's richest acre, Kilgore, Texas. The area around Kilgore was first settled by planters from the Old South prior to the Civil War. It was first formed in 1872 as a railroad stop. The town steadily grew to a population of 1,000 by 1929, but the Great Depression brought hardship and the town decreased around 400 just one year later. Oil was discovered in the fall of 1930 and immediately Kilgore became a boom town. It grew to 12,000 by 1936. There were once 1,100 producing wells within the city limits. Must have been quite a sight. A portion of the town is known as the world's richest acre and had the greatest concentration of oil derricks in the world at the time. At one point, a large dip in oil prices caused unrest and the governor declared martial law. By the late 1930s, the boom was over, but oil production in the area continues to this day. So join me as I tour some of the most interesting sites around town, including one of the most unique and fun museums in the entire state of Texas. Very impressive displays here at the Kilgore Oil Museum. And I must say, the museums in this town, some of the best in all of East Texas. I strongly encourage you to come visit. This sure looks interesting. We're going to show you what's underground in the East Texas oil field. Way, way underground. Whoa, whoa. Just below the grass is Queen City sand. But in other parts of Texas, it's deep underground and sometimes has oil in it. That's your first lesson in petroleum geology. We're going down. Whoa, whoa, steady as she goes. Stop that. Stop. Hey, we're moving! Oh, let's not miss the Carrizo Sands. They're important. Why? Because some folks get their water from the Carrizo Sands. When Austin chalk outcrops on the surface, you can walk in lots of creek beds and find beautiful big macro fossils like these. Ammonites, which old timers used as doorstops. Here in the East Texas oil field, Austin chalk forms a tight, non-permeable seal over the woodbine sandstone. The woodbine sandstone is where the oil is. So that's the woodbine. Pay dirt! No! Pay zone! It's not dirt, it's sandstone! It's where the oil is in the East Texas oil field! So now we're going to do something a little bit different and tour the Texas Broadcast Museum. Oh, 
What a collection. Look at these old TVs. I don't think I've ever seen one quite like this. And here we have a radio studio. I've always been told that I have a radio face. Many little nooks and crannies to explore inside this museum. Very impressive. You can even stand at a green screen and give out the weather forecast. Welcome to the Texas Museum of Broadcasting and Communication. Here, you can learn everything about Broadcasting and Communications. That's right. So on a beautiful country back road, just to the south of town is the discovery well that transformed East Texas, the Daisy Bradford number three. Still pumping oil out here. All these years later.